Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and this is a Patreon reward video uh, because I ran an extra bonus pauper request round in the Mysterious Belerian Society forums and somebody requested uh, the Azorius Kitty deck. So we are gonna play Azorius Kitty. Uh, there has been no changes to Power T's list. Uh, for some time he's not playing the deck right now. So uh, let's see if it can still stand the test of the tournament practice room. All right, time to grind. Let's see if I remember this playing against charges. Keep it. Stupid Delver. Now we just hope he doesn't get fairies fairies. We want to journey the Delver now. That's priority number one. Journey, right? Journey to nowhere. Am I pronouncing it right? Or am I still sounding like a stupid Swede? I am a stupid Swede. Delver flips or doesn't flip. The excitement is unbearable. He flips. Think twice, enter the reveal card zone. That's mono blue control. That's much easier to deal with than Delver. So we're not gonna see any cloud affairs here. We'll see a main phase, think twice. And that's exactly what we want to see. Then we can just deal with the Delver. And now the whole world is open for us. Except that we have to fight through a cloud of counter spells. But we can do that. I did expect a long match. Matches are always long with Azorius Kitty. I think we can grind him out now that he doesn't have treasure crews. This is gonna get so countered. But in the end, if he doesn't have any counter spells left, I can resolve the Muldrifter. What am I gonna do next turn? Sunscape Familiar, Dreamstalker, Spreading Seas. I think I'm returning the planes because I think I need an untapped land. But he taps out again. Tap out mono blue control. So now I can do anything and that probably implies playing two Sunscape Familiars. Now the world is my oyster, but I only have one blue mana. So maybe I should play Reality Acid here, it's not really a threat to him. Main phase, think twice. That's surprising. Hmm. I think I'm playing Spreading Seas on my crossroads. 
No, on my plans. And then Dream Stalker. On the spreading seas. There's a, a real island. Returning spreading seas. And then I played again. And not on the crossroads. Uh, well, nothing else to do. I am playing faster than him so far. But he has all the card draw in the world now. I expect another thing twice here. And maybe accumulate the knowledge. And <laughs> it didn't do anything. What now? Una's grace. All right, Dream Stalker built down. Okay, let's try to scare him with a reality acid, which is quite pointless here. To be able to land the Maldrifter. And failing that, we'll just play Spreading Seas on the island. Our own island. But this could get countered, and then the fun starts for real. And he does counter it. No, he just draws a card. So that was like the best of all worlds. Uh, Maldrifter. And spreading seas. And then I return crossroads. And it's all good. Spy Golem will really stop me my, dead in my tracks here. What's in my sideboard? Mono blue control, that's what I do. Last breath, train of thoughts, deep analysis, take out. Yeah, looks good. I want that reality asset back. Hit him for three. Six mana. Is he gonna repeal the Dream Stalker? No. <laughs> He's repealing the Mulrifter. That can't be right. Why would you ever do that?
But I'll gladly cast it again, much rather than do two damage to him. Preordain. Uh, put on bottom, put on top. Preordain. Put on top, put on top. We did play a crossroad, so we are done. Now I think I can get back my reality acid. Mr. Delver, you can't really stop anything. So what about the journey here? Play journey, journey. It gets countered. Swing, I guess. Do we just want to bounce the Maldrifter? But we can't bounce the Maldrifter because he has counter spells. So I think we get back the, the Relt Acid here. Discounted. So does he have a counter spell that can protect? That can stop the Maldrifter from being bounced? What would that be? Mana leak? Or something similar? Yeah, it's not unlikely. I still think it is the, the Maldrifter that I want to target there, but if he counters it, I'm so screwed. Maybe he'll counter the Dreamstalker. We have that land too. Well, it's not like we are losing the game here. See if Delver flips. Three cards in his hand. I have drawn as deep as he has. So now the question is, okay, the Delver didn't flip, so I get another turn of doing three damage. I lost the real Acid. I guess I can live with that. I have an Omnath's Grace too, so I should not play lands needlessly. But getting two life seems decent. Nothing useful in the graveyard. So we pass the turn. Good old think twice or something. No, it's just Ona's Grace. Train of Thought will be really, really good in the sideboard against him. But I think our biggest advantage here is time. He's playing way too slowly in this super grindy matchup. I, I don't really care if the Delver flips or not. He needs to not flip for four turns for me to be able to win with my current board. And that's not going to happen. Great. 
race is working nicely for him. Divination, how do you find room for divination in your mono blue control list? I'm impressed. Okay, a better overload on counter spell targets. Do I keep all these lands? How much mana do I have? I have nine and two Sunscape Familiars. That's got to be enough. So I'm keeping all the lands in my hand. And now the Delver should flip. Flip for justice, Mr. Delver. Flip. Okay, didn't flip. Stormbound Geist. Well, that's a bit worse. Onus Grace. Okay, so now I can only count spell one thing. And I think journeying the Stormbound Geist is my main priority here. Uh, Skyfisher for the Mull Rifter. It's greedy, but it's fun. Of course, that didn't work, but now I can journey the Stormbound Geist. Whippersnag. No. And my Durdles attack again. Short of the Durdles. Six lives. He only has two cards. And maybe finally his Delver flips. Yes, it does. Six turns of beatdown with Dreamstalker, which you can stop with any creature. So I'm reluctant to trade the Mulrifter here. I think I'm just gonna stall. He repeals the journey. Cutting back the Stormbound Geist. Looks neat. I think you should play more instants on my turn. What do you think? <laughs> he only has 30 minutes left. And there is plenty of time left in this duel. So he obviously has one counter, maybe more. Can I get anywhere with the Chancery? I can just gain life. But gaining life, not insignificant. Oh, nice grace. He might very well, well win this first duel, but how will he win another one? It takes this much time. So many cards. Come at me, bro. 19 lives.
That's a pretty good draw here. So we'll just do it. Lone missionary. Feels good. Throwing another counter spell. Flashback the analysis. And lone missionary. Or another counter spell. That's uh, good work for the deep analysis. Uh, play crossroads done. Seven minutes ahead. Research. Leaving him with 17 cards. 20 cards, sorry. I'm so glad he doesn't have treasure cruises. But now he can hit me for 5 a turn. But he doesn't. Where are my dragons? My days, I mean. Uh, okay, so I am casting Journey to Nowhere here. Getting it countered, and then I'm able to play the Maldrifter. And then I get Reality Acid Drake Familiar for the Delver. I guess. And he's only at six. So he'll be hard pressed to attra attack now. I am returning reality acid. Do I replay it? I think maybe I do replay it on the Stormbound Geist when I have the chance. And done. So grindy. <laughs> Another storm man, guys. Wait a minute, Dreamstalker can attack. Oh God, I missed all the attacks with the Dreamstalker. That's bad. Um, now I gotta draw some value. That's value. And it's probably value that is not getting countered. Skyfisher is probably getting countered. 
And I think I'm scared fishing a Muldrifter. Or is it worth more to get the Reality Acid? Hmm. Yeah, it has some effect, even if Reality Acid then gets countered. So I'm gonna block and kill that guy. So we now target the Delver. Keep the fourth land in hand. Wow, I think he would have been at three or two life if I had played uh, Dreamstalker correctly. Counterspell has been revealed. But I'm not sure I need to play anything else. I'll double block the 3-3, kill off one of the 2-2s two with the Skyfisher. And just ignore the Delver until he dies. He's so low on life that he has a real problem. But that problem would have been much bigger if I had actually played correctly. I don't think he's being aggressive enough. I should block with two Maldrifters. Eight minutes for him to win twice. Any day now I'll find my owner's grace. Hope I'm not missing anything else. These matchups get so super complicated. So we know about his counterspell. So we get to overload his counters again. It has worked before, it will work again. Yeah, he's doing quite a good job at milling himself. But at this point he should have like at least three counter spells. How many counters can I tell? Oh, I can two counters. Yeah, I'm taking the damage, living the dream, slowest removal in the world. <laughs> okay, another reality acid. So now I can attack with the dream stalker, which I should have done long ago. Yeah, it's all good. Another Delver. Five eight. Goodbye, Mr. Delver. So 
wing with the Dreamstalker. Seven cards, we don't need to play one. Six minutes left on his clock. Still drawing cards. I'm taking out loan uh, missionaries, reality acid, just one, one blink and one drake. Still digging for answers. He just needs one repeal to protect himself. Will it flip this time? It does, so now I'm blocking with the Maldrifter. Is that six cards left in his library? Wow. I hope you like grindy magic, because th that is what you're getting. Soon it's time to record a standard pauper show. He does repeal the core sky fisher. Six cards left. He's playing a lot of land. Another geist. Yeah, block the Delver. Uh, Preordain. Put that on the bottom, that on the top. Okay, what is the order of this? I think it's Journey. Okay, so now I have free rain here. That probably starts with the Muldrifter. Drawing two cards. Oh wow. Now things got complicated. So I real tested that guy. I play the Sky Fisher. Returning real tested. Play another real tested. Oh, the same real tested, rather. Play a planes. Sky Fisher. And I think that's game. Get rid of it. Sit back and enjoy momentary blink, but it costs it costs two, so yes. That is my plan. Oh, forgot to attack again with the Dream Stalker. It's tricky. Uh, he should have been dead by now. So complicated. Ah, uh, four, five, ten a.m. in the morning, but I do win. So you bring in deep analysis, train of thought, train of thought. Last breath, last breath, last breath. I think that's it. 
Yes, take out the lone missionaries. Three. Take out the blink. That's your typical take out card. The drake. And uh, one reality acid. And now we are prepared for a long grinding match, but it can't be longer than four minutes of his time because that's all he has left. Azorius Kitty Grindfest. Bava was the one who requested this, so I hope you're happy, Bava, because this is a grindfest. I surely I've made 20 mistakes so far, but please point them out. Please tell me in a minute and second that I do them. Keep it. I have two islands and a preordain, and uh, of course, deep analysis. So now I really want chanceries, but I guess this will do. Keep the sky fisher as well, I think. Yeah, this looks excellent. Preordain away. Mm, look ex looks excellent again. Tranquil Cove. Cove? Is that the right pronunciation? I hope so. Stormbound Geist. A better plate now. But it was too early. I don't want to get dazed. So I play the land. And I preordain again. These things sure look nice. I want them. Maybe I should have gone for land. All right. So this is not a very active turn. Do we want him to lose a land here? Or maybe just waste the counter spell. No, I think I'd rather just have an extra card. So now my plan is just to cast deep analysis on myself. What's happening? Ah, you have mull drifters now. God damn it. Uh, I'm actually gonna have a ton of cards if I do that. So I'm gonna do this instead. Skyfisher, returning spreading seas. Play spreading seas. And play the chancery. Returning that land. That was nice. Two minutes, 59 seconds. This is purely academic at this point as he has to win two matches. And there is no way in the seven hells that he can do that. Please check out my Game of Thrones podcast. Search iTunes for Game of Thrones chat. When I talk Game of Thrones with the creator of this deck, Power T. There will also hopefully be, if I remember it, a Power T interview. I'm going to record it tonight because we're going to record uh, Game of Thrones chat. Episode 1. Okay, now I feel that I could do almost anything. Maybe Real Acid his Mull Drifter. Seems like fun. Lots and lots of pure fun. There is no need to attack. He needs to win. I don't need to win. I just need him to lose. That made little sense. So 
so many options. Life points should make it harder for me to lose. Another spreading seas, perhaps. And Dream Stalker for spreading seas. Uh, I'm not drawing cards, so I have to discard. That's why I'm not casting the deep analysis yet. Okay, this time I'm not gonna forget to attack with the Dream Stalker. So yes, six counter spells here. So uh, let's make sure I have more ammunition. Train, wow. Um, what do I do? Guess I can cast another spreading seas. Last breath. Nice. Okay, overloading his counterspell seems really, really hard to do. Hmm. Should I just train for a million at the end of his turn? No, we, we want to draw out some counterspells. No, we don't. We can do that after we have trained. As if it matters. Six, nine. We need one more mana for train. He repeals the journey. Very nice. Okay, I'm still on the huge train plan, but now I can't even do it because I'm <laughs> flooding with stuff. So remember the old saying, when in doubt, play a Muldrifter. Okay, now I can actually get rid of one of his Stormbound Geists. Which should be sweet. Let the journey be countered. And then last breath, the other one. <laughs> I'm forgetting to attack with the Dream Stalker again. So now I'm attacking with the Dream Stalker. It's gonna be glorious. Bringing him down to 22. Such a grind fest. Okay, now I have five, seven, eleven mana. So I'm casting the huge train. The love train. You're going to repeal that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Spend your 44 seconds wisely, sir. I'm gonna resolve train of thought. Okay. Train of thought. It's not an instant. <laughs> oh, sad. I want to replicate it four times.
Okay, if it's not an instant, then I should um, not play it like this. But uh, no matter. I can resolve a Sunscape Familiar. Must be good. I can discard Ona's Grace. Ha, no Sunscape Familiar for me. Wall of Skyfishers. Ona's Grace, Reality Acid, yeah. Grindfest accomplished. Uh, block. And it's over. Thank you for watching. I hope, like I said, Baba, I hope this was the grind fest you wanted. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.